Yeah, there's some good music in the menu screen when you're <clears> looking <throat> at stats. Might have to load into it. Yeah. Yeah, I remember Need for Speed 3 being the one that really became popular that introduced. So we have uh, locations. Outback. They really don't show you a shape oh, of the yeah. track. No, they don't. Again, another thing that the menu system in this game is not as good. Mystic Peace, Peaks looks like it's in the mountains. Let's try that one. I think I remember that one. Let's only do like two, two laps. Yeah. Let's just do the same cars for the sake of it. Are we doing? I'm gonna choose two? a different car. All right. I want. These are all like supercars. I want this one. Alright. Race. Race it is. So how many cars are in this game? 52. Are there 52 or is that just the first number that came to your head? <laughs> wow, look at this oh, track. Oh my goodness. This yeah. track is, is... Wow, this is a whole lot of track. There's a lot of uh, squigglies. Even like loop-de-loops. Yeah, this is going to be nuts. <laughs> You're going down. I think we're going to drive real well on this one. With very minimal crashing in the walls. Three, two, one, go! And away we go. Again, the coloring on the tracks, it's pretty bland colors. I mean, looking at the sky in the background again, there's mountains now. There's more going on, but it's... Uh, the mountains can just kind of move like a scrolling picture. It's not any more picture. I don't know, for some reason I think I'd rather play Need for Speed 1 because that feels more classic and very straightforward. This seems kind of convoluted and um, it seems at, like at a, this point, like a, this a year. Middle child. This or, like an I don't know. A, a game, a game this old doesn't really translate to 2010 very well. Where they're trying to do, where they're trying to give you a lot of content, and, and and you just don't feel like racing this way. With there's, like, there's I mean, really where, where not, are we? Like aliens? There's really not a lot of nostalgia with this game, and on top of it, the the game is just really sort of boring. Uh, if you were to have to pick Need for Speed 1 or 2, I would pick Need for Speed 1. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't like, I really don't even recognize a lot of the cars in this. It like, has some, you know, sort of uh, good, honest quality in some of this. This game is trying to be, like, sort of too much, but it really just blew it. I don't know. Maybe at the time, this, like, it, it just seemed so... At the time, this was probably a good sim. Maybe, maybe, a, maybe a good arcade game. Yeah, yeah that's, that's not that. very simulated. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I, mean, I just have a feeling that this was a lot better in '97 than it is today. And it just doesn't translate good enough. And honestly, less stuff is more when you're playing an older game to me because I don't want to spend a lot of time learning old games. I want to just kind of pick them up and play them. Unless it's like... Unless wow, it's like you a, went off the track. Uh, I so totally I. just jumped <laughs> off the track there. Wow, so that's interesting. You can actually go off the track in this. I mean, you get so much speed to jump over a track and then you just you hit the wall and almost go off the track completely. So what this, what this level shows, actually, this level sort of shows the new engine a little bit more. Because the first game was sort of, it just seemed a little flat. In this game, I've noticed now there's a lot more hills. Uh, I noticed there was a part where the track was going underneath another part of the track. But I yeah, it was that large jump. But I so black. I guess the engine is, it is goes better. From, it goes from like weird caves to towns. Yeah. Which is also really weird. Yeah, and now we're in some strange dirt town in the Himalayas. 
It just it seems like almost at times the game really drives impressive. itself. Which yeah, and it's not really very challenging. You can sort of crash. I mean, you crash a lot, but for the most part, when you're on the <laughs> Do you see what I just did there? I should be outside of the car when this happens. Wow. Because this is, this is crazy. I'm, yeah. Like, just the things you can't help but hit send you flying. Like, this kind of reminds me of Need for, Need for Speed Shift. Just the weirdest physics, and, and it just it doesn't make sense when it's trying to be realistic. Like, what's funny the is cars all the, flip over too easily. All the twists and turns that the Need for Speed series has taken are sort of strange. It's, it's been a pretty strange series. Yeah, it has. It I has. mean, games like Gran Turismo, which have been kind of on the same track and have progressed very steadily. Need for Speed did its whole underground, like, angry teenager phase where every car was like a rice rocket. Gone in 60 seconds. Yeah, and then they went, now, now, what was their late, 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 what was their latest game? Shift? Yeah. Yeah, and then they're, Shift. They're migrating right. back to the, yeah. I think the new one is going to be pretty good because it's going to be made by Criterion. Yeah. And they're kind of rebooting an older, good need for speed. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to that one, but I haven't looked forward to a yeah. need for speed game since Probably Porsche, Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed on the PC. I remember and the other uh, sort of good Need for Speed speed game and the early GameCube and PlayStation 2 era was uh, Hot Pursuit 2. Oh yeah, that, that was, was a good one. one. Yeah. yeah, that was like the last good, maybe classic Need for Speed game. After that, they went to the whole underground, uh, you know, all those other ones, Most Wanted. Yeah, so they, they sort of went off on this whole like thing where you're like this, you know, modding car guy. It almost felt like they didn't want to give up on that. Like they made too many of them, and yeah. and people obviously didn't like them, but they kept on coming out with yeah. this underground racing. See what the f what the hell is this? Where like the first jump is onto a bridge and you easily fly off it, and then the second jump after the bridge. You're falling off the track and away from the track, and it's like into oblivion. That really frustrates me. <laughs> well, I am very far behind you. I, I think this is so far my... This is my least favorite so far. Yeah, definitely. It's just not... It's just not a fun game. It, it's, it, it's more The physics are awful. Yeah. And to think that a game like Gran Turismo 1 or 2 was out around this time is, oh, yeah. is shocking. You can really see why Gran Turismo 1 and 2 were so popular in yeah. their day. Because this 2 was is still one of my favorite racing games this, ever. This was the competition that they that they went up against. This I can still play Gran Turismo 2. Yeah. And well. I, mean, there was some, I could play it well. The, the other big series was what? Ridge Racer was another series. Yeah. Um, Test Drive was another. Sorry. But really, I mean, Gran Turismo 2 in particular, really... And then there was down. the assorted rally racing. Yeah. So, um, I wouldn't recommend this game. <laughs> yeah. I, I would not, not recommend it. It does not get my official and... Congratulations, player one. Approval. Go and get Need for Speed 1. Track. It's like 6 to $10 in the long box. And it's a good game. Yeah. It's fun to play with your friends. And and Porsche Unleashed, only if honestly if you're if you really like Porsches and you have a thing or if you played the game back when it was new and you have a nostalgic Even that one I wouldn't recommend on the PlayStation. Get it on the PC if you can. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Tomato. You could probably find this game for fifty cents in the bargain bin. So go look for Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. You weirdo PC gamer. And then pretty much, you know, Need for Speed 2 is sort of, it's a novelty. So yeah. thanks for checking out this video, even if you do check it out, because I think it probably sucks. But, <laughs> peace out <laughs> while the All game right, sucks. See you guys, it's been fun. Uh, yeah, from... Barragon, from, out. Yeah, from and me. add me, add me as your friend. I need more friends. I haven't been online in two months, but I'm coming back. Yeah, he's coming back. I'm coming back. With the just... with the fierceness. Yeah. Um, peace out, guys. Thanks for watching the videos. Hope you like them. Later.